Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Welcome back. Triple B! Yeah! We back, baby. We back, and we got a platter of food just for you. I said a platter, not a plate. Hey, you know, that's the only way we're going to get down today. And it's going to be great. <laughs> but before we get into that, I'm going to need you to do something for us. What's that, Triple B? Get this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below, baby. And don't get to share it out. Share it out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal we're about to receive. Please keep our faith strong and bless our friends, family, and loved ones. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. As you can see, I uh, can't show you overhead if I didn't already. We got... Baked beans and meat, or should I say meat and baked beans. Uh, we got some elote corn. We got some ribs. And then we got Miss Shan's about to be famous. Grandma special. <laughs> broccoli. Cheesy broccoli rice. Yeah. Cheesy yeah. broccoli Y'all were asking rice. for a recipe, a more up-to-date recipe, because the other one was in, mixed in one of my old videos. Yeah, I had so, to find it. A brand new video. I know which one it was in, but a brand new video is coming out on Miss Shan's channel. So just wait and see and go check that video out. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try the cheesy rice first. Mm -hmm. mm. Hot, fresh, steaming. I'm going to mix mine with these beans. There's a little bit in that first bite with these beans. So, yeah. All right, so it's like my grandma, what my grandma used to make. It just takes me back already, just like Thanksgiving. I already feel like I'm just like in her kitchen. I'm like, did you make the cheesy rice? <laughs> Get y'all some of them beans. Mmm. Mm. That's definitely good. With the mix? Or just your stuff? Just the rice. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were trying to say my beans was good. Okay. That's all I tried so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely go ahead and check this recipe out because this one is good. The last one I did for on his channel was just like one I threw together because mm -hmm. I didn't have everything I needed, so I just made it work. You know, how it I was do. still good. I ate it, it all. Still good. Like I ate it without anything extra to it. I was just warming up the stuff, the cheesy broccoli rice casserole by itself. Eat mm -hmm. it. Man, it's good with the beans. Mm-hmm. Give me another bite. <laughs> They ain't even got to the ribs yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing all right. We always send you positive vibes, blessings, even mm -hmm. still with a kiss. Got me some water jumping off. Mm -hmm. Yep, you don't get me some don't drop me a rib on them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that meat bones just coming right off. You said y'all see that meat. I'm drinking this uh, some strawberry lemonade. I think it's Sonic strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. Get y'all some. Get y'all some. Mm -hmm. These ribs were made by Mr. Triple B himself. Mm -hmm. He asked for them. All I made was the cheesy rice, so he made the beans, he made the meat, and he made the corn. Mm hmm. Nice and tender, guys. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me see it. Right well. um, the sauce is a, a sweet. Well, it was hot at first, but. It's so sweet. I sweetened it up. I'm so sweet. Mm -hmm. So it's got Mike's hot honey in it and some of that trigger hot barbecue sauce and then a little sweet baby rays. So it's sugar and spice and everything nice, huh? Mm-hmm. 
That was the Powerpuff Girls. You ever watch Powerpuff Girls? Mm -hmm. Sugar and spice and everything nice. That's been around that long because I remember hearing that when I was a little kid. I don't think the Powerpuff Girls were around that long, was it? No, but they probably said that about little girls. You know, they made a sugar and spice and everything. Else. Oh, okay. That's where it came from. Mm -hmm. And what was boys made of? Um, I think it was like rat dog tails. <laughs> 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 you being serious? And snails. <laughs> <laughs> snails and rat dog tails. I'm gonna mess with you. That's what I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you thought you was gonna be a. The one hand that paper towel rolling down. I said, say, come on, you guys. Come on, Tyler. Sometimes I underestimate your strength and your willpower. Mmm, I'm waiting for the corn. Mm hmm. I was too busy with this meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had that low day corn the other day at Chili's. Had to have it again. Yeah, I was just kind of inspired by our Chili's meal. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of mine, because I had ribs. You didn't even have ribs. No, I didn't. I just had a burger, but I saw what everybody else had. We had ribs, and then you saw my corn, and it's like, wow, shucks. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if y'all don't know, go back and watch that live uh, Chili Mukbang. It's one of my later lives. We had special guests, King E.E., -E, Parachute, the Queen, and Miss Ian. <laughs> <laughs> who are all part of Big Brother Helping Hands. Once again, they did come bless the city of Indianapolis with Feeding the Homeless. And coming up here getting some donations from Triple B and Miss Shan. I'll put some links to their social media in the chat below. What y'all know about them coats? <laughs> it's football season. How's you guys? It's football season going so far. Yeah, so our quarterback, our new quarterback is out for a little bit. You know, he had to take a hard hit after he got in the end zone. But we got high hopes for him. Oh, yeah. So hopefully, but I did kind of already predict this. Yeah. It's going to happen. Since well, football has become more predictable now, it seems like it. And then, like they said, you can have their experience to really read the defense you know what i'm saying as much so now he can sit back and study a little bit and then just throw him out there with the wolves you know yeah but that's the so is the other guy the guy the backup he's getting thrown to the wolves yeah but he's been around for five years oh he has yeah mm -hmm. he's got experience oh okay i thought maybe he was a rookie mm -hmm. too he's been around five years for sure well that kind of makes sense that's why I said that's good because he got confidence. He's strong. Yeah, that's cool. Besides my last guy, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> wow. That makes me want to take a bite now. <laughs> Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Get y'all some. Mm -hmm. Feel like I had to be quiet so you can hear your crunch. <laughs> Oh, I just pointed at something. <laughs> so, what do you guys think, though? I'm sure you've heard of Aaron Rodgers. And how he, his season kind of began and ended with him <laughs> a couple of minutes. I don't know. I was trying to say that he kind of faked that. I heard a lot of theories. I heard one theory saying that he freaking pooped his pants. <laughs> and he didn't want to play the game anymore, so he faked an Achilles heel injury. I suppose. Well, that's a serious injury to fake, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He could have took a hit and just laid there, but. Yeah, that part I was kind of with it until they said, you know, he faked his Achilles heel. I'm like, I, don't, I mean, unless they paid the doctors to really go with that story, <laughs> give him that diagnosis. <laughs> I know what happens outside the locker room. But. 
Yeah, they're saying that pretty much he like nodded to the bench or something, and then he fell down all of a sudden. He like, yeah, it's he time. Shook, he shook his head, and then he like. He probably got that guaranteed money. Like, Shh, I'm cool. <laughs> we should only had to play what two minutes. <laughs> I just had to. I just had to take the opening snap. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> like you're already rich, you know. It's not like he need the money. Mm. I'd be funny if Tom Brady came back. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great, though. That'd be kind of cool. It'd bring excitement back to so many people. I don't know if I could do Tom Brady as, as a Jets, but... You know? I don't have to. Well, I don't know. I don't have to. You know, I'm kind of like a newbie with this because I'm like, the Jets are not my team, but I'm supporting them because of Aaron Rodgers. And, the that'd be <laughs> and now I'm like, do I really need to stay with them because Aaron Rodgers isn't playing? Oh, I, beat, I don't know what they record. I think I know they beat the Bears. I know. I never won him. I don't know if they won one, one, one or two or Because mm. where are the Colts are? One and two. One and two or two and one. Nah, it's only, it's only week two. This might be week oh, three. Oh, it's yet. week three now. Mm-hmm. They play, what, Tennessee and the Texans. Yeah, so... I don't know. It's like, what is a, a, a lover of football to do, you know? <laughs> and one of, one of those decisions you have to make. Like, yeah. do I stay or do I go? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know? Speaking of paying and going, though, I've been kind of wanting to talk about a song that just hit with me back, hmm, it's probably the 90s, I might say. Mm-hmm. By my boy, Johnny Gill, who was part of who? Um, not, uh, the one with Bobby, uh, New Edition. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but he had a song out called Fair Weather Friends. And I remember when that song come out, came out, you know, we were young. I had no idea what he was talking about. And, of course, the video, I think he had a raincoat and umbrella and stuff. So, he's kind of making it, like, weather Like a metaphor. Uh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it. But at that time, you know, my mom told me, she was like, that song is a pre, the song has substance because he's trying to say you're going to have <laughs> people in your life that are going to come and go. And they're going to come just like the weather. So, mm-hmm. If there's bad weather around, you might not see them. Right. If there's good weather around, you might see them a whole lot, you know? Mm-hmm. When weather's good, everybody comes out, right? Right. So, the weather's bad, a lot of people stay inside. So, I always thought that was a song that, like, resonated with me into <laughs> my adult life. <laughs> I always think about that when I go through certain friendships or tribulations mm-hmm. or whatever relationships. Like, sometimes God will put people in your life for a reason. For a moment. Or for the rest of your life, you know? Right. So we can't say, and I can't say that all of my encounters that I've had that have possibly turned out bad weren't ones that I didn't accept fully when they happened. Right. You know? When that encounter happened... I was thankful for the encounter. I lived in the moment. If it was a good encounter, I lived in the moment of it being a good encounter. Right. And I put all my positive energy to that. Dang. And you learn from it. Mm-hmm. There's always something positive going on when you learn. I am. Not what we're eating. I mean, you learn. You learn people patterns. Who, what to do, what to expect, what, to, who not to mess with, who to mess with. Oh, that's where the fair weatherness comes in. Right. When the stuff gets bad, well, it's kind of how you see who your real mm-hmm. friends are or who your real family is. And that's what you can kind of build upon. And that's a good foundation to start on. If they're going to be there for you when you're at your lowest or when things are coming at you that might not be on the normal... And that's people you should stick with with your foundation. Oh, yeah. All the songs had a message back then. Mm-hmm. Backstabbers, all of them. Yeah. They all had a message. But they don't got no messages today. 
Mm-hmm. You don't got them songs. You know, they knew how to talk sexual when they needed to and freaky whatever. And then they also kicked the game to you. You know what I'm saying? Poison. Well, they did get freaky. Yeah, they, they let you know about that poison. They died. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm going back to like the freaky dicky oh, yeah. in the, the '70s and the beyond. It's been getting dark for all eternity, so they say the freaks come out at night. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I kind of got substance or uh, got a real hint of that song when I was I don't know how old, but when I saw that freaky people really did come out. At night. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a certain time. On the clock, the freaky time, you know? <laughs> Like, man. <laughs> it's about that time. Mm-hmm. Do you like to be out and about when the freaks come out? <laughs> man, I've had my time. <laughs> I know more. It's time to come inside. Because <laughs> where there's freaks, there's usually the trouble. I thought you were going to say it's usually treats. Mm-hmm. Where there's freaks. Yeah. Sometimes you get treats with the freaks. <laughs> mm, they got a treat with you, you freak. Hey. Oh, I'm full. I don't know how much I can eat. I ate all your stuff. I'm eating some more though, but I'm full. Mm. <laughs> what? I don't know. We can eat it. Sound effects. Yeah, make some room real quick. We don't have no dessert. What you have? No. We eat some. Well, let's say we eat some uh, taffy apples or candy apples, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> we got a snicker and a chocolate chip cookies down there. They want chocolate chip cookies. Cookies and milk. The food loved by Santa. Yeah, did you leave cookies and milk out for Santa mm-hmm. ever? Did your cookies get uh, gone? Mm-hmm. Do you think the, and I want to run for the little kids that's watching, do you think they really got eight? Or they just got yeah, put no, back they in, got eight. Or they got put back in the container and milk poured back in the chop. No, they got like, eight. We ain't wasting this stuff. I got eight my cookies. <laughs> Every time. I bet. Every time I put them out. Did you ever make Santa personal cookies? Yeah. Like, I've handmade these cookies for you, Santa. Sure did. Now I'm seeing his personal phone number, so. <laughs> Me and Santa cool. Mm. This has been so good, though, guys. Rice, beans, corn. The ribs are nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Yeah, you know it's one of them nap meals. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm watching some old movie. You don't know how old it is. It's probably like it's crazy. I think it said 2016, but it could say older. That's how fast food. Mm-hmm. And pretty much focusing on fast food and um, the big one is what it's called. Place called Mickey's. They make mm-hmm. the big one. Oh. I was they can't say the Big Mac, so they got the big. Oh, one. gotcha. But they talk about McDonald's, Burger King, and all this like they're a competitor. I wonder if it really was a fast food chain called Mickey's back in the day. I was getting all excited. I ain't talking about fast food. Mm-hmm. But I was just saying what was going on and with the. Plants where they make the food, you know, the meat mm-hmm. patties. So it's an interesting kind. Of, in a way, it's probably true. I won't get into too much detail because we're eating, but it's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm watching that right now. I'm trying to think what else did I watch recently. I watched a couple other movies that kind of, I didn't like the way they ended. I was watching a movie with Samuel L. Jackson and uh, Chris Pine, maybe. Chris Pine? So fun. Yeah, that was called The Sale. Where they pretty much, all at one time, they sent the signal to the cell phones, and it just scrambled your brain up and made you go crazy. So, like, he was at the airport, so, like, more than half the airport was on their cell phone. 
and went crazy and started oh, yeah, I I seen that before. going crazy and you know what was it called, yeah? attacking each other. Uh, the cell. Yeah, I think I've seen that. But, that yeah. was kind of crazy how they was just tapping in everybody's stuff. Well, they just, yeah, they just, everybody found it once, got that signal, but once the signal was in them, they started emulating the signal, and they, they grouped them all up, so it was like some master control. Speaking of that, you know, they say we're not supposed to answer the signal we get on 10-4, October the 4th. Hmm. It's coming through our phones. Who knows why they're testing it, but they're doing a massive testing for all media devices. On ten four, like the trucker did, you know. Is like it gonna come, it's gonna automatically make its own noise, though? Mm-hmm. I said, even if the phone's on silent, it's still gonna make noise. So you gotta turn all your devices off. So even old devices that probably now, if a device that's not even hooked up to a phone service start making that noise too, then I'm really gonna freak out. Mm-hmm. Like I got, you know, you got old devices just sitting around. And all of a sudden, they're just getting this random I'm signal. You know what I'm saying? Like it's work. never dead. Or they one always of the phones that we can never get to turn on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now all of a sudden it's gonna turn on. I think I'm like, boop, 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 boop. it's gonna be like the spaceship when it gets close to the little thing. It always, they're close and the ship gets power. I don't know. If that stuff happens, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to run for the hills. Uh, you gonna know, run to the hills, have eyes, people. Mm-hmm. They out there waiting for you. I'm gonna run right past them. <laughs> the hills have eyes. Well, I don't know your kind. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> might come out with a third eye. I'm not messing with you. I don't want you. no food, no water, mm-hmm. no blankets, mm-hmm. no nothing. You trying to tell me No, what? no, 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 no. And y'all better make sure y'all run on Miss Shan's Short Recipe channel and check out the recipe for this cheesy rock, broccoli and rice Cassidy. Cheesy broccoli rice. Cheesy broccoli rice. Mm-hmm. Cheesy broccoli rice. Cheesy broccoli rice. Say it three times, y'all. That was good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. You done I'm on I'm going to smash some more later. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Probably with my rib. Mm-hmm. Rest that, uh, uh, yeah, I might have to slide that rib on the bun. Make me a little McRib mm-hmm. sandwich later on. Throw me some pickles on that, Joe. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, wow. T- like Dame say, it's a tender, fender, mm-hmm. bender, baby. That was a tender fender bender. We got a couple of bones. You can wash those off for the puppies. They wait. Don't say it out loud. Mm-hmm. They wait. Mm-hmm. Like, Dee already knows. She's right there. She's right there. Like, mm-hmm. You know how they say when your dog plays the noise of your dog? <laughs> See what they do. And dog be like. Mm-hmm. She know her name. She like mm-hmm. name bone. They mm-hmm. Speaking of that, too, the last thing because you keep on like segueing me into stuff. I was watching TikTok. And I saw this thing with this girl sitting in the bed, and she told her little dog, go tell daddy mommy wants some Coke, mm-hmm. plus Coke. So the dog goes downstairs, and they had the buttons, and he was like, mommy, water. Like, he hit the buttons, uh-huh. the uh, words, and the dad was on the couch. And he was like, man, I'll get that in two minutes, man. In two minutes, I'll get her some water. And there's another button. And the dog was like, Bitch. <laughs> bitch <laughs> like, he kept hitting the one like he knew like it's weird sometimes when dogs actually seem like they're communicating with you you know so we've had a few times they probably just put anything there and edit it I don't know it's these buttons you can train your dogs to actually train them to like hit it so they know what it means when they hear it cause dogs know certain words when they hear it <laughs> that's what he's been doing so King has been like sitting up. I don't know if he's been trying to like elongate his body to make him seem like he's bigger and stronger, <laughs> but he always likes to Sit stand on his two leg. hind legs, and he'll actually like prop up, all the way up too. for a little bit. <laughs> a lot of like, times, he got good balance with it. He's getting good at it, definitely. He's going to be our little superstar. Well, we're going to have to get up out of here. We ain't going to drive these dogs crazy, y'all. We'd love to sit here and talk to y'all. All night long. All right. But we know that hopefully you guys will come back tomorrow and join us again for another fantastic meal. And for 914K, by the time you see this, I'm going to need you to do it. What's that, Captain? Well, I don't know. You was talking about fantastic meals. I just cut you off. What else you wanted to tell you? Oh, yeah. I'm going to come back for some more fantastic meals and conversation and uh real deal because that's what we're gonna give you here yeah but now they both are the double team us all right y'all positive feels no no that's how we are we are like this in real life man sometimes you know it's just 
Like I said, we always like this, man. We good. You can't be nothing but yourselves. And if yeah. it doesn't show, then you're doing something wrong. Yeah. You'll recognize <laughs> real, as they say. But to keep it real, I need y'all to do something for me now. What's that, Catlin? Get this video thumbs up. What's that, Governor? Go ahead and comment below, baby. What you say, Mike? And don't forget to share it out. Share, share it, it out. If you guys are new to the channels, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Look, guys, we woke up today. We are blessed. We have another chance to go out there and give it our best. Go out and help someone else become a better person and be the blessing that the world needs. And so I got one dog. You can't calm your dog down, huh? Oh, yeah. You, you, uh, mm -hmm. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell you love somebody else or try to take care of somebody else because it starts with... You. you starts with you. In other words, get yourself right before you out here trying to do something. Somebody else judge somebody else, talk about somebody else, do anything. Make sure you write with yourself, baby. And it's okay if it takes a little bit of time. Sometimes yeah, it takes time to get yourself need. right, but you'll, you'll know when you're right to get right with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big Belly Bob. I'm He's telling K. No, get out. <laughs>